USA, the Great Depression. Lester Dent and Walter Gibson are the most prolific, widely published storytellers on Earth. Authors of Doc Savage and the Shadow Magazines, groundbreaking pulp heroes inspiring Superman and Batman, and launching the comic book age. Required to write two shadow novels each month, Gibson uses a battery of typewriters, resting bloodied fingertips between books as he pounds out 1,680,000 words a year. Attempting a similar impossible schedule, Dent suffers an apparent nervous breakdown, beginning to see and actually interact with his Doc Savage characters come to life. In 1949, Dent pens his oddest and last published Doc Savage novel, one in which he sends his strapping bronze adventurer into the very heart of hell. Ten years later, Dent is dead. Jump ahead decades. The nearly forgotten Doc Savage and Shadow Pulp novels are enjoying new life in paperback, selling millions of copies. Yet simultaneously, people report seeing a strange black-clad figure with coal-fire eyes around an old brownstone on Gay Street in Greenwich Village. The building in question? The very one in which Gibson penned the last of his Shadow novels in 1949. A dabbler in the occult, Gibson insists to interviewers the specter is that of the shadow and is a tulpa, or living mind projection, spawned by his unrivaled literary output. But another, far more sinister mind creature is actively threatening the world, a tulpa hatched by an adolescent Lester Dent and left to lash out from Earth's fiery center. The Blood Ogre offers a haunting mix of history and metafiction centered on the very act of literary creation, but served up as 21st century pulplet adventure, in which pulp fiction characters literally come to life. Coming summer 2022 from Nighttown Books.